CBS Austin's Raven Ambers is here in the studio tonight with some perspective from an Austin area congressman. Raven, what did Lloyd Doggett have to say about the shutdown today? Congressman Doggett says that the lack of funding for a border wall isn't the real security threat. He says it's security at airports that are now seeing staffing shortages because of the shutdown. It's not, on the, not only the longest shutdown, but it's practically unprecedented to have a president who shuts down his own government. There seems to be no end in sight for the more than three-week-long partial government shutdown, the longest in U.S. history. As federal employees continue to work without pay, House lawmakers are scrambling for a solution. We talked to Congressman Lloyd Doggett before he heads back to the nation's capital. The first bill that we passed to reopen the government this past week, and it passed by a big margin in the House, would have paid all of these TSA workers that screen at the airport. Missing from that bill, funding for President Trump's promised border wall. But the president has vowed to veto any spending bill that that funding. It's difficult to negotiate with a president who continually changes his mind uh, with the idea of the day. The shutdown is already impacting airport security. A security checkpoint at George Bush Intercontinental Airport in Houston was shut down Sunday because agents with no promise of pay are refusing to show up for work. It doesn't make us more safe. It makes us less safe with the danger of airline problems. Uh, so I want to see them paid and paid immediately. I don't blame them for not wanting to show up to work or for calling in sick. It's outrageous that they're not being paid.